Hi, my name is Dave Olson. I'm with Renesis Electronics America. I'm showing a embedded vision demo here today with RZG1M microprocessor. It's a dual cortex, um, dual cortex ARM A15 microprocessor running 1.5 gigahertz. So it's about 10,000 little plus, a little higher than 10,000 DMIPS. And it's actually doing two things. It's doing a face look away detect to engage um, a relay which turns on or off an electromagnet. And this camera is actually um, connected to the RZG1M development board and it's running a convolutional neural network algorithm to do object identification. So the idea is if you're an operator, say of a heavy piece of equipment, which this is supposed to represent, if you're paying attention to what you're doing, the, the uh, system will engage. If you look away, it will disengage to protect you or the equipment you're working with. And then when you bring the object into the field of view, it'll do an identification. And that's very useful for manufacturing assembly lines to do defect detection or for security systems to make sure you're looking at a person versus uh, a cat, something like that. So it's uh, all running on the CPU cores. Uh, the, the, the device has a GPU in it, for example, but we're not even using that. It's just running on the CPU cores. It's very high performance and uh, it's a great way to get into embedded vision. So the demo requires a little bit of skill. I don't know if you can see, but the LEDs are illuminated because I'm looking right at the camera. If I look to the left, it turns off. If I look to the, or I get my left and right backwards. But anyway, if I'm looking at the camera, it locks on. So I can, I can lower the crane and the electromagnet is on. So it's now locked onto this little platform. That means I can raise the platform up maneuver it into the field of view and you can see on the top of the screen it says tiger so it's identified this particular object the library has over a thousand or it has about a thousand objects okay i looked away it dropped it has about a thousand objects in it these toys are representative of the some of the objects it detects motorcycle orange uh, wolf so th so it's not just tuned to one particular um, type of object though it could be during a training process the um, the software developers will train on a particular object like an orange for you know a number of hours so that it can detect this orange or any other type of orange by the shape the texture the color so forth likewise motorcycles it's able to detect that this is a motorcycle a car and uh, what's what's really nice about this you know, using um, uh, neural network types of algorithms in a manufacturing context is you don't have to line up the object right within the crosshairs of your camera. You can line it up in the field of view. The algorithm will figure out what the object is and whether it looks right or not. So 